All right, we are at Silverwater Milling, so let's go check it out and see what they have. I'm gonna have to go get Preston because he wants some traps and there's all kinds of traps here for that little guy. This place is so cool. Like they have, I don't know if you can see behind me, they have gates, fence, paneling, livestock equipment, feeders. Hold on, really. I already got this one right here, a dog proof. What I'm really looking for is the, the names are if you want to read out the names are there. Shop steel one watch. Like the words are here. <coughs> so the one that's the traps I want to get. The thing is though, I just don't want to clamp my fingers into them. <sighs> that's the last thing I want to do. Alright, we're going to The powder coat matches. Oh. Ultimate wrapping system. Why is it supposed to stay open? It's a hundo. A hundred dollars? Did you they don't have any of these? They don't have any of these? No. Okay. Is there anything else for raccoons? Something that I haven't done yet is buy tags for all the new baby goats. And they have some really, really good selection of color. Look at this. They're awesome. I just don't know if I have it in my heart to put this through the little baby goat's ears.
to take a look at these. These are so nice. Porta hut shelters. There's steel frame, galvanized siding. This would be so nice for my goats. Let's go in here. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. This is nice. Gets you out of the wind, out of the cold, out of the rain. But yeah, this is really nice. That one's big. That one's big. There's some little ones over here. Yeah, a lot smaller than these big ones over here. It's a good size. That's a really good size. Man, I love this place. This place is amazing. They have more farm and ranch stuff than I've ever seen in my life. This whole part over here is the milling. They make their own food. As you see, people are like lining up to get their feed sacks and to fill their barrels and their big, huge feed trailers. And it's starting to rain. So nice. We need to get this hillbilly feeder home. We went to Claremore, we came back on old Route 66, so we thought it'd be a great time to stop and see the blue whale. We've been here many times before. It's always nice to just stop in once in a while, let the kids see the whale, talk about the story behind it, let them ask questions, let them run around. They love to climb up and down. It's not very safe, but they'll climb up there. They'll come inside here, I'll show you, and they climb up to the top and there's little portholes like on a boat. See here, they climb up there. I can't climb up there with my knees, but you can see there's little portals up there, see? And they climb up there, and you can look out the windows. And back when this was a swimming hole, here was one of the slides Went into the pond. So the story behind the blue well is back in the 70s, Mr. Davis built this for his wife as a surprise anniversary present. She loved to collect the little whale tchotchkes and so he surprised her by building this whale right here on their pond. It was a spring-fed pond, so then uh, he just kept building things and doing more over here that he actually opened it up as like a nature park and he allowed people to come and bathe and swim, kind of community pool. And of course they built more on, they built, there's a big arc up there, animal sanctuary, they built a building right there. They built a building where they'd serve food and drinks out of, they made a little picnic area. Over here was like a beach. They brought in sand and stone and made a beach. But they actually closed it down as they got older in I think 1988. And then it just sat here and it kind of was getting decrepit and, and falling apart until the people of Catoosa, Oklahoma, all came together and brought it back to life. That's the story of the whale, but it's a great roadside attraction. Lots of people from like all over come here to go to Route 66. 
and check it out, but I think it's kind of cool. Look at that. Hi. Yeah, you remember? There's an elk. There's an elk in the blue whale. Everybody, there's an elk at the blue whale. There's always an elk or a duck call involved in every single moment of my hearing. Really? Okay. Can you help this, please? You're to have to scrub your hands when you get. Just like I said, Holy I like to go up there. There's a lot of Don't break it. Be careful up there, please. Yeah, is there a bad screw? I guess you can fish it too, but it says catch and release. Here? Yeah. Too bad we didn't have holes in the car. We can come back another day. That'd be a cool little adventure. Fishing up the blue whale. Is it cobwebs up there? Hmm? No, pretty stable. Pretty stable. Pretty stable. See, it says no swimming, but that's what they used to do here was swim. Mm -hmm. Just like there was a diving board or something out there. And then, yeah, the stairs to come back in after you swim. It's like they put the Trex deck over the old stuff. See the old wood underneath there? Yeah, Gator, I'll see it. I see the old wood under there. Yeah. This used to be a swimming hole. Mm -hmm. Parker! Sure. I would do a Gator off of this. Please don't. It's a big thing. Hey, it's time to come down. All right, come on, buddy. Do you hear the ladder getting up out of the water? The slide going into the water? Yeah, there's a ladder on this other side, too. They should have add like a glass deal looking into the water. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Like a submarine. Oh, and there's lights right there, too. Dave has built all of this stuff for his wife. It's, he passed away in the 90s. white one. This 
this one. Okay, can anybody hear? show is like <laughs> see I don't see he has not been one down here in the last couple of days with them when he when they come down you guys to love him? Oh, not cheese. lately too much. so as you see we came and got some roosters so out of all these chickens seven of them were roosters and four were hens these are some of the babies that we hatched girls was it in the summer or was it in the spring? How old are these chickens? Summer or spring? Say hi. <laughs> you don't remember? I think it was in May. But they are all picking on each other. Look, they've got that one down right now. And your meanies. Your meanies. That white one right there is the meanest. What do you think? This one? And she said the one that's kind of black and white striped that has brown is one of the nicest. What are you thinking? Huh? That was a fun day. We did so much today. I felt like we drove all over the world, but we went to Claremore and then back through Tulsa and now we're back home. Thank you so much for coming along with us today. It was a fun day off the ranch. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every single time that we upload a new video. You never know what's gonna happen around here with my crazy kids and crazy animals, but thank you for watching. Hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.